Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about t-shirt design. So a while ago I made a video of reviewing the website Bonfire. It's a platform for designing and selling t-shirt, mainly for fundraising purposes. I made that video because I had a really good experience using Bonfire and I also heard a lot of good feedback uh, regarding the quality of the t-shirt and the print. So I made a video showing you the process of how to use Bonfire for your next fundraising campaign. And today we're going to talk about how to use Bonfire platform to design your t-shirt. Because I realize a lot of people who are using Bonfire for their campaign, they might not be designer themselves or they don't have uh, money to hire a designer to design t-shirt. But the good news is there are ways to design very simple and good design t-shirt that uh, anybody can do uh, just using the design tool on Bonfire. So today I'm going to show you some ideas that you can use for your next t-shirt. So when it comes to t-shirt design, your printable area is about an A4 size or a letter size paper in, in the front of your t-shirt. But that doesn't mean you have to use every inch of it. As a matter of fact, you probably don't want to have a really squarely printed uh, design on the front of a t-shirt. So let's try to put a circle uh, shape design inside your t-shirt. And a good way to use this design principle is to put an icon or a graphic in the middle. And of course, you want to have some word or text explaining what this t-shirt is for. So you can write a text around this graphic. So this could be either the name of your organization or some tagline, some call to action, or just you know, some uh, a catchy line to, to draw people's attention. And then underneath, you can also put the website, hashtag, or some other information, the secondary information you want people to know. So using this circle of design, it's a good way to just very simply use three elements, a graphic element and then a text on above and then a text underneath to create a very interesting and simple design that would usually work on a lot of occasion. And then the second idea I'm going to show you is also a circular design. So we can simply do a larger circle area that you want to print and we can divide this into quadrants. You can put four elements in this circle. So it can either be uh, words like maybe I want to write hope I mean, of course, I'm just, you know, coming up with ideas as I go. So it's easy for me to say, oh, I think of four, you know, a, a word with four letters. But it can be four words in the C each quadrant. Or they can also be four icons in these four quadrants. And then, again, underneath, you can put your website, your hashtag, or some little uh, fine print underneath. And then the third idea I'm going to show you, it's similar to these two, but then we're just going to do like a, almost like a semicircle. Maybe not even quite perfect semicircle, but like a half, like a half arc shape. So uh, doing something this, because uh, usually you see people wearing t-shirt, you kind of just draw uh, on the element that's above, like on right above, right on your chest. So here you can have some sort of drawing or element, a graphic here. And then again, you can put the text around it. And because in Bonfire, there's a very handy feature in their design tool that you can arc text. So you can uh, write a single line of text and then you can just tell it to how much you want to arc it, which I'm going to show you later on. And then the fourth one is going to be you know, even more simpler. I think we're going from somewhat complex to simple to very simple. So the fourth one is going to be, again, uh, focusing on the top part of your t-shirt and maybe we can just write a very big bold statement. So again, this can be a line of text, some of it's a name of your organization. I try to avoid using just the name of an organization. I personally don't quite like uh, being a big walking billboard for another company, but this can be a big hashtag or a statement that can fit uh, nicely in this uh, width. And then again, you might want to add another little tagline or website or a date. You know, if you're going on a mission trip, you know, the day, the year this event is for. And then on the fifth idea is going to be something similar to this, but we're dividing this into uh, even smaller shapes. So instead of having just one big statement, we can do three things. So these three things can be three icons um, that can represent kind of similar to this idea that you want to have four things that represent what your organization is doing. And this one can be three things that represent your organization. And it could be if you're a farmer or you're representing a lo eat local or farmer's market, it can be you know three farmer's market items that are popular. Or if you're raising funds for wildlife, then it can be three type of wildlife animal. And then again, you can have a little note here that you with your website or with your uh, hashtag or you know, whatever, uh, some sort of call, act, call to action maybe. 
And then lastly, the fifth idea I have for you is like a fake pocket print. So even though you're not actually making a pocket, but if you, uh, we, we call it pocket print because something that's on the upper left chest area, then it can uh, mimic like a pocket where your pocket usually is. Uh, so you you can you can make a fake pocket like just a drawing of a line of a pocket, or you can have it some sort of icon. Uh, just you know instead of four three, you just have one thing that you really are uh, passionate for. So it could be some sort of drawing, or or even your logo if you have a nice um, mar logo mark, you can use that. So this could be you know some sort of you know a thing on the upper just minimalist uh, icon on the top left corner of your shirt. And again, you can you can or you don't have to have a um, website or name. And next, we're going to hop on Bonfire website and use the design tool on the platform to come up with six designs just like these. Now we're on the Bonfire website. And when you create a new campaign on Bonfire, you will be presented with this page that allows you to upload design or create one right here on this interface. To keep things simple, let's just go with this gray t-shirt here. You can have up to five different colors of t-shirt, but I think gray is a good neutral color to start with. Let's see how we can translate our sketches into final design right here inside of Bonfire. Our first idea was based on a circular shape. And let's pretend we are designing a t-shirt for a cat adoption organization. So simply type in the keyword to search for a graphic. In this case, I just typed cat. And I found this cat drawing that I think will be perfect for our t-shirt. And by dragging the corners of the graphic, you can adjust the size to your liking and position them however you want. And next, I'm going to have a line of text wrapping on the top of the circle. So I type my text in all caps. So the whole text block is uh, just more defined. And by using the arc slider, we can easily have this text uh, wrap around the graphic. And I know choosing a font can be very overwhelming, especially here, the options uh, inside the bonfire, it's uh, endless. A rule of thumb is to match the look and feel to the graphic. And since the cat graphic is like a cute icon, so I chose this font called Luckiest Guy to uh, go with this graphic. And I'm going to add a tagline that wraps around the bottom half of the circle. But this time I'm going to choose a thinner font so it doesn't compete with the main text. And in this case, I use a font called Montserrat. And lastly, I just uh, added two dots or two circles to finish up the design. So far, we have made everything in white. You can definitely change the color of the design or have multiple colors. And obviously, you need to make sure the color of your design will uh, still be visible uh, depending on the color that you're going to be printed on. And also just be mindful that the number of colors you have in a design will determine the base cost of your shirt. And as far as the color of t-shirts, you can have up to five colors per each design. For our second sketch, we have a circle that's uh, divided into quadrants. So first I did a search for circle, and then I found this one that has the line weight that I like. And for demonstration purposes, I am going to just use the word hope. And I'm going to type the letters H, P, and E separately, but in the same typeface. And then for O, I am using a heart shape to replace that. And now I need to add the two diagonal lines in the center of the circle. So I just search for lines. And I found this diagonal line has the same line weight as our circle. So once I have it in the position that I wanted, I just use this uh, two handy tools on the right side here. One is duplicate. It will duplicate the graphic. And then I use the flip tool to just flip it the other way. So now it looks just like our sketch. And then lastly, you can add a website or a hashtag called you know some sort of text on the at the bottom of the circle. So I use the arc tool to match the curvature of the circle and then just place it outside. For the third idea, let's make an environment uh, awareness t-shirt. So I did a couple of search for an outdoorsy graphic and uh, such as trees, mountains or uh, greens. And I come up with this one that has mountain and uh, clouds and sound. So I'm going with it. And then um, I also want to have a text that's wrapping on the top of the graphic, but this time more like a rainbow instead of a perfect you know, half circle. So this time I chose a script typeface because I think it goes well with the organic natural theme of our design. And the one I use here is called Grand Hotel. And if it's necessary, you can, like I have here, add a secondary tagline at the bottom. It could be a website or the date of your campaign or event or whatever. 
The fourth idea is a statement teacher. So I'm just going to use the word love in an all cap bold typeface. Here I'm using a font called Luckiest Guy. It's the same one I use for the cat teacher. And because I like how thick and bold it is. And then for the second text line, I wrote in much smaller size, your neighbor. And then the font I use here is called Acme. This could be, you know, anything. It could be the, the second half of the sentence like I have here. Or again, it could be a website or a date, you know, the year of the event. And this format is great because it's, you know, as you can see, it's very simple. It's just text. So if you don't want to have to deal with graphic, this is a great way to design your t-shirt. It works well for most people because it's just simple and bold. Our fifth idea is to have three graphics in a row. And they can be three things that represent your campaign or three steps to do something. I'm going to design a t-shirt for some sort of mental wellness awareness. And for this one, I already have in mind the phrase, it's okay to grow slow. So I'm going to uh, do some graphic research based on the, the phrase that I have. And I thought succulents are perfect for this idea. So when you're choosing graphic to combine into one design, it's important to have them be in the same style. In this case, I was lucky to found these three succulent drawings that are done in the same style, probably by the same person. And then next, I just need to look for a typeface that will match the hand-drawn look of this drawing. At the end, I went with this font called Give You Glory. I think uh, it really complement each other. Our last idea was to make a pocket print. And by that, I mean just have some simple graphic that's placed on the upper left chest. So let's design a t-shirt for a counseling service. And in my mind, I have this uh, phrase, let's talk about it. And I want to use a lighthearted approach for this topic. So I found this uh, dinosaur graphic. I think it's really cute. And then I add a thought bubble and then some squiggles inside the bubble. I think it's kind of, uh, to me, it's kind of like saying, you know, even if you look tough on the outside, it's still good to talk about, you know, what's going on in your mind. So as you can see, you can be creative in combining the clip arts to illustrate your message. And just for fun, I'm going to um, try different colors for this design. So the takeaway for these examples is that first, keep it simple. Good design doesn't have to be complicated. Avoid being overwhelmed by all the options you have by limiting your typeface choices to one or two. And keep the color of the design simple. You can do so much with a single color print. It also will make your life a lot easier when it comes to designing what color of t-shirt you want to be printed on. And lastly, don't forget you can combine graphics to create something totally unique. I hope you enjoy this t-shirt design crash course. If you want to know more about how to use Bonfire for your fundraising campaign, don't forget to check out the video at the end. And if you're ready to try out Bonfire, you can just click on the link in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!